Hi guys, my name is Julia and I'm an incoming first year medical student and today I'm going to show you my desk setup for my first year of medical school, which is largely going to be online. I start medical school on Monday and the only thing that we're doing in person is anatomy and small groups and ultimately our clinical stuff that starts in October. So I'm going to be sitting at this desk a lot, so I wanted it to be something that was really comfortable and spacious and helped me be really productive. I'm going to cover everything that I have at my desk and I'm going to link everything that I can down below and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. As far as my actual desk, initially I was going to buy the typical IKEA tabletop and legs and just try to make a really large desk space, but when I went to IKEA I actually couldn't find any of the legs. They were totally sold out because everyone's buying desks. So I decided to get a little bit creative and we had this really old drawing table that was my great great grandfather's um that was probably made in 1900 or earlier um that we've always kept in my house and we decided that we could stain it and refinish it and make it a really nice desk so we sanded everything down and put polyurethane on the top and used old english on the bottom to make it a really functional desk and i absolutely love it it's very sturdy for an 100 year old <laughs> desk and it works really well for what I need it to. I believe it's over 40 inches long and over like 30 inches deep. So it's a very big desk. I have a lot of space. It also sits pretty tall, which is great because I'm 5'10". So I'm on the taller side and having everything elevated a little bit is really good for me ergodynamically. And with how much I'm gonna be sitting at my desk, that was really important to me. It also is able to convert to essentially a standing desk. It raises up really tall. So that's gonna be really helpful as well when I'm doing really, really long study days and maybe I don't wanna sit at my desk anymore. Um, so I really love this. It's obviously not something I can link below, but I think it's gonna work out really well for me and it costs very little to set it up. As for my chair, I can't remember the exact name brand of it, but it's essentially just a mesh back office chair from Sam's Club and I got it on sale for less than $100. And I think it's very, very comfortable, works really well for what I need. Um, it sits really tall as well, which is nice. It has a really comfortable mesh back that helps me sit up, keep my posture good. And these arms actually bend down like this, which I really like because it allows me to sit more comfortably. And if I don't want the arms, I don't have to use them. They also adjust up and down with these buttons, which is really nice. So I can sit them up in a more comfortable position and it's just really comfortable in general. I typically go for the more budget items, but I did want to invest a little bit more in my chair because I know how much time I'm going to be spending in it. Next is my monitor. So I actually got this BenQ 27 inch monitor on Amazon for $179 and it's normally almost a $300 monitor. So it was a really, really good price. It has blue light filtering and the color is really pretty and it generally just has a lot of screen space and it works well with my Mac. I just got it so I don't know a whole lot about it but from, from what I've seen it's really nice and I think I got a really good deal on it and I like that it's 27 inches because it gives me a whole lot of space. So I'm using it with my 13 inch MacBook Air so my actual laptop screen is relatively small but when I have both of these I can either use them as a dual screen or mirroring and it works well to give me more space to look at everything on site. Because I have the MacBook, I have an adapter on my MacBook, which I'll also link down below, that works from USB-C to HDMI, USB, and it's significantly cheaper than the one from Apple, which is like over $60. I believe I paid like $14 or less for this adapter, which is super awesome and it works perfectly, so no need to buy the expensive one. I have the Apple Magic Mouse 2 and the Magic Keyboard. I love them. They're definitely more on the expensive side. I received them as a gift. The Christmas that I was studying for my MCAT because I was having a lot of issues with my neck and back and I got a stand that elevated my laptop so that I wasn't bending down all the time, which I lost when I moved sad and I need to find it. But these work really well. I like them. They're very aesthetically pleasing. Obviously any keyboard and mouse can do, but I'm really happy with these. I also have a coaster on my desk. This is just something that's been in my house since I was a child. I don't know where it came from, but obviously I want to protect this desk because it's pretty nice and I don't want to leave any uh, water spots on it. I'm using a mason jar to hold all of my writing utensils and I have Pilot G2 0.7 millimeter pens, um, the Bic 0.7 mechanical pencils. I have Papermate flare pens, Papermate gel pens, and Paper Mild liners. 
And on my desk, I really just keep the colors and utensils that I use the most frequently so they're easily accessible for me. And I don't have to go searching through my backpack all the time, but I don't want a whole lot of stuff cluttering my desk. This is an acrylic little storage tray. I don't know where it came from, but it works really great to just hold some stuff on my desk. It's very clean looking. In it, I have some flashcards and post-it notes because I like to have those readily available if I need them, a binder clip, and my stylus for my iPad. So I know a lot of people use the Apple Pencil, but it's very expensive, almost $100 and that's not something i just really wanted to spend my money on so i actually have this knockoff version of the apple pencil from amazon that i will link down below it was only like 33 dollars maybe and it does the exact same thing it has hand recognition it works via bluetooth and you turn it on by tapping it on the top and it lights up got a charging port it holds its charge for about 20 hours and it's very cute it looks essentially the same so if you're on a budget and you're trying to just get the functionality that you need. I think this is great. I had a different model of it before that worked really well. So I highly recommend this if you're getting an iPad or have an iPad. Then I have this headphone stand from Amazon that's holding my Harman Kardon BT headphones. These are a pretty old pair of headphones. They actually don't sell them anymore, but their newer model only costs like $50 now. And these work with Bluetooth or actually plugged into my devices. And I think they work really well. So I definitely recommend them if you're on the market for a cheaper pair of headphones. They're rectangular shaped, which is a little weird, but I think they're more comfortable on my ears because of that. So I like to have these here. I'm really trying to get some focus studying in. And finally, I have this candle by Sand and Paws that I got from TJ Maxx. Like I said, we're big dog people, so obviously everything's dog themed. But I always get my candles from TJ Maxx because they're way more affordable. I think this candle only costs like seven or eight dollars and it's really big it burns for a long time it makes my room not smell like dog <laughs> um i don't ever really buy candles from anywhere else because they're just not as affordable and high quality so i love to have a candle going i think it really keeps me focused and motivated and other than that i have the lamp that i mentioned in my vlog where i remodeled my room that has my plants on it uh, provides me a little bit of light and it's very cute it keeps the room really green so that's everything that's on my desk. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna work really well for medical school. Everything starts up for me on Monday. So please subscribe if you like this video and look out for the videos that are coming up. I'm gonna be vlogging all of my orientation week, my white coat ceremony, and my first week of actual classes for sure. And I just wanna to continue to share information about what medical school is like during this pandemic and how online medical school is gonna work for me. So if you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave them down below and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.